Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries, and I'm gonna show something. Um, most of the notes I have done in this uh, Church Bible Publishers, this is the classic red letter uh, Schofield midsize. All about red letter, authorized King James CBP. Notice I got it when they first started, when they first had the crosses on it. Uh, this is the iron calfskin. And I'm going to go into uh, a review of it. I have a review on YouTube about this Bible already. Um, beautiful Bible, perimeter stitched. Um, the only thing I want to get now is their uh, same one in top grain cowhide. I definitely want to get that. Um, I do have some, you notice some nicks here and there. Uh, that's from my fingernail. Nothing with the publisher. That's just my fingernail. That's why I want the top grain. Uh, I think I'm a little rougher on my Bibles than I thought I was. Anyway, what I want to show you here is the notes that I've done in this Bible have been there for now, I would say, a year. I don't use micro pens. Of course, uh, I think they're great. Uh, I just flat out use, hey, zebra fine point. That's what I use. I uh, use a ruler to underline and I write. Don't color coordinate anything. It's not going to be a long video, but I'm just going to see for a year. Just a regular fine point ballpoint pen. And I don't have the best handwriting, so no teasing remarks on that. But what I want to show you is after a year. I mean. And so you see that the ink is not kind of saturating, it's not dulling, it's as sharp as the day I wrote it. And it's not going on to the other side. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's probably spots here and there that has uh, like a hole of paper. Um, that's just manufacturing. There might have some bleed through. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some other notes. I do notes at the beginning of each book. Let's go to Psalm. I said there's notes all through here, but. Job. So Psalm. All right. So here's, I just listed some of the chapters and some of the important things of those chapters. This is a year ago. Look how crisp the writing is, not how great the writing is, how crisp the writing is. Just a fine point zebra pen. I mean, I, I, I was surprised. I thought after a year, I haven't really taken a look at um, how detailed after a year it was going to look. Until last night I got the idea. Notes on Ecclesiastes. As sharp as the day I wrote them. This says a lot about this paper. It says tons about this paper. Even even look at this. Mess up a word, scratched it out. I thought, oh great, that's gonna be a bad bleed through. Over here. Nope. And so all the way through uh, the scriptures, I said you ha I have notes here and there, underlines, no bleed throughs. It's just as sharp as the day I did it. Look at that. Come on now. Look at this other side. That says a lot about Church Bible Publishers paper. It says tons. Now this, let's see what this looks like. Now this is underlined in red. Goodness. Red. Let's see. Yeah. So under this red is my other underlined on the other side of the page. Barely tell. 
barely. And when you're looking with just the eye, it's a little less than that. If you have never bought a Bible from Church Bible Publishers, I encourage you. Now, here's, I messed up the nine a little bit. And you can see that. Now, see, this is, you can see, it did find little holes there. Now, it tells you, you know, that every paper has little holes here and there. Um, so that one did find a little bit. So I'm showing you the truth. Didn't skip this. But not bad. I mean, when you, and I, like I said, there's a lot of places I write my Bible. And a lot of times you can't see any. See? Here's one underlining and some that. Still very good. So, and, and once again, that is just with a zebra pen. Zebra paw point. So there's other ones that you can use to probably be a lot less. But look at that. This has been a year. Very crisp. What the other side looks like. Look at that. Anyway, just letting you know how they take up to just plain old ballpoint pen. And it shows you have plenty of room in the margins are right, top, bottom. All right, sometimes in the middle note section if there's spaces. Um, has some more notes the back of Revelation that I couldn't fit in the bottom because Revelation, you know, ended right there. So I put them all right here. Very nice. Anyway, this is the, uh, once again, the Church Bible Publishers Classic Red Letter with uh, Schofield. Love the feel of that Bible. Love the texture. Ooh, look at the grain. I still want the top grain cowhide. Um, that would be beautiful. Um, Got to be careful with the iron cast skins. You know, that's that's me. That's that's my all. That's all my doings. Uh, and hey, thanks for watching. God bless.